Hello, we are continuing to follow breaking news out of Northfield, Vermont. Good afternoon, I'm Vanessa Mashanya. An Amtrak trail, train derailed this morning, sending several to the hospital. We know that several large chunks of rock fell onto the tracks overnight. And at 10.30 this morning, the train bound for Washington, D.C., hit those rocks and derailed. There have not been any reports of serious injuries yet, but emergency crews did take seven to area hospitals. One patient had to be airlifted from the scene. Governor Peter Shumlin took questions this afternoon. He says it does not appear there were any ne there was any negligence involved. WPTZ Stuart Ledbetter is live in Northfield and joins us now with the details. Stu, what can you tell us? Well, Governor Shumlin uh, and his public safety team concluded a briefing here a little while ago at Norwich, which is where the passengers on board that Amtrak Vermonter were taken after the derailment this morning. The uh, train car, which was uh, five passenger cars and an engine, was uh, going about 60 miles an hour just outside of Northfield when it rounded a curve in the rail and slammed into some rock ledge, some four or five chunks, large chunks of ledge that had uh, broken free uh, at some point uh, during the wee hours of the morning. That caused the train to derail and several train cars to uh, go down over an embankment toward the uh, Bull Run Brook. Uh, the train did spill some diesel fuel, but miraculously uh, there were no serious injuries on board this train. Uh, seven in total were taken to area hospitals, one of those seven to Dartmouth Hitchcock with what was described as an abdominal injury. That was a passenger, we are, are told. Uh, the two train engineers were taken to the uh, Met Medical Center in Berlin. We spoke a little earlier with uh, passenger Wendy Lindley, who uh, is visiting from Lawton, Oklahoma, and she describes what it was like at the moment of impact. Everything was going along smoothly, and all of a sudden, it, it was a giant jolt, and the train was moving, and everyone was screaming. And um, our car went uphill, so it was sort of slanted, and we, as we were trying to get off, it was rocky. And, and the two cars in front of us went downhill, and I think that's where the injuries were, mostly. That uh, was a passenger uh, who was among the large group here at Norwich uh, describing the scene on board that train. Uh, the governor indicated that we were very, very lucky. Uh, there were not uh, more serious injuries or loss of life, which we have seen uh, before uh, when Amtrak uh, trains roll through and, and hit something, as happened in 1984 uh, in uh, Williston. Uh, the Amtrak uh, officials are now here offering to either bus passengers uh, down south or to put them up in area hotels for the night. The uh, train track is going to be uh, a, a essentially a, a construction and repair zone for the next few days. Cranes brought in, uh, they will be brought in to remove, lift and remove those train cars and repair the track. The public safety uh, officials here indicated there is no indication that there was any wrongdoing. Uh, or anything deliberate here, that it was uh, a freight train went through that same stretch last night and reported uh, no problem whatsoever. Uh, but uh, at some point overnight, this rock ledge uh, gave through, and unfortunately, the passenger train was the first uh, to arrive about 10.30 this morning and slam right into it. We'll have more from this developing story here in Northfield throughout the afternoon. For now, Stuart Ledbetter, WPTZ News Channel 5. Back to you. Stu, thank you. Again, that was WPTZ's Stu Ledbetter in Northfield. We do have team coverage on this story. Our reporters are tracking the latest details as they become available. We will continue to have the latest on air and online at WPTZ.com, and we'll be right back here again at 4 o'clock with another update. Thanks for watching us.